Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Malucha, and welcome back to New World. The new patch is live. In the previous episode, we went and opened all of the dungeon caches that we got from the keys that are now gone in the game. It was a pretty lengthy episode. We got a lot of rewards, but eventually we only got like three pieces that were like really interesting. I did a head count at the end. Uh, we got 47 uh, legendary weapons uh, that I did not have yet, so I'm kind of gonna like just save up every legendary weapon in the game. You never know when uh, perks or new uh, talents are gonna get adjustments and we're gonna get new metas in the game. So definitely want to keep my hands on every legendary that there is in the game uh, if they eventually might turn up to be Biss, right? Uh, and yeah, from the armors, I think we got like 8 or 10 uh, legendary armors and not a lot. We got one head, a heavy head that was actually pretty interesting for a build that I might be working on in the future. Uh, it was a pretty lengthy episode, so I'm gonna try to keep this one a little shorter. We do also have like 30 gypsum caches for every type of armor. Now, they did implement a new, uh, well, a, a new code that would guarantee us a better, like more chance on epic and even legendary. Today we are gonna open these, uh, well, 150 chips and caches. Like I said, I, I hope it's gonna be a little faster than the previous one. So let's start with the boots. So blue boots, no interests. Uh, Constitution, dexterity, refreshing, corruption, no. Uh, Constitution, Blight, Resistance, Luck, no. Constitution, Dexterity, Resilient, Empowering, Fireball, no. <laughs> We're gonna see a lot of no. Still greens in here. Uh, still blues in here. So I, I really thought that they would remove all the greens. That it was gonna only be blue blue and uh, epic. Uh, Constitution, Focus of Physical Version and uh, well, a Bow Perk. Constitution, Strength, Figure, Refreshing. Not too bad. Strength, Refreshing, Angry Earth. Oh, here we go. Leather, Boots of the Brigand, Dexterity, Constitution, Freedom, Resilient, and Indestructible. Oh, if only the Indestructible were not on this item, it would be such a good one. It would definitely be one that I would be using. Like, Dexterity, Constitution is not bad. You can, you can fit that in anywhere. Medium Boots, you can fit that in a medium build anyway. Uh, freedom, really good. Resilience, really good. Indestructible is just so, so bad. Like, it's... it's I, I really don't... I said it in previous episode as well. I don't really get why they keep this perk actually in the game. They should just remove it. It's so pretty, pretty tough on that one. Uh, some blue boots. More blue boots. More blue boots. Yeah, just gonna glance over them. Uh, intelligence Strength with the Refreshing Ward and Sundering Shockwave. Ooh, dexterity with freedom, physical aversion, and luck. And no, no interest. Legendary boots of the cavalier. Le leather boots, dexterity, intelligence, crippling, feral rush, and resilient. Uh, no. Constitution, intelligence, lost ward, and invigorating. No. Blue. 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 Yeah, we're gonna go uh, through these uh, chests a lot faster than we go through the other ones, guys. Uh, greens. Holy crap, why they put in even greens? Shirking Fortification, Empowering, Leaping Strike, Constitution, Intelligence. This might not be bad for an actual um, shield, shield, sword set. Shirking Fortification is kind of pissed right now for PvP. Like, it is really good. Um, you can get uh, five, five stacks of... Damage absorption, basically meaning that you can get 15 and 4, 19% damage absorption for 6 seconds. Every time you dodge through an enemy attack. So that's actually really... I think that's the highest damage absorption you can get in the game right now. Um, so pretty interesting. Uh, got some blues here. And what do we got? Focus with shirking fortification and luck. If it was refreshing or anything else, then luck I would be interested. Uh, heavy boots. So we're going at Constitution Resilient with Corruption Wards. No. And blues. More blues. And that were the boots. Let's uh, go with the hands this time. Blues. No. Blue. 
Oh, legendary, dexterity constitution, mendy sticky bomb, resilient and empowering breaker. When your attacks are blocked, gain a stack of empower, increasing damage by 3.8% for 5 seconds. 5 stacks max. So you're gonna need to be able, you're gonna need to be shooting tanks to actually get this perk on. And as an, well, as, as somebody who's kind of running a musket, you're going for the lights, light gear, or you're going for the healers, right? You're going for the other range DPS, so... Not really interesting. Ooh, look at that. Constitution, Dexterity, Vigor, Shirking, Fortification, Resilience. Holy crap. This is actually pretty good. This is actually really good. Burn, Bleed, and Poison expire 10% faster. Uh, Shirking, Fortification is like the bis, the bis now in the amount of absorption you can get. And then Resilient, Critical Hits deal less damage to you. This is really, really good. This is a really good piece. Like, holy crap, this is nice. I can show this to, to the company. There are going to be a couple people that are going to be pretty uh, pretty jealous. Uh, nothing. Uh, we got Dexterity Constitution Resilient with Keen Berserk. Greens, no. Uh, plate Heavies. Uh, Dexterity Refreshing and Corruption, no. A lot of legendaries, guys. Constitution Focus. Refreshing, Evasion, Lost Ward, Invigorating. Lights. Uh, it might work for a lost, lost, uh, lost ward set. Refreshing Evasion isn't that bad, although Refreshing Evasion before the patch, it was 95%, 0.95% after, uh, reduced, uh, cooldowns. So it actually lowered it. Uh, but I think Weaken Disease and Exhaust Rent expire 10% faster. I think they increased that one, because I think it was only like 7.5% or something like that, or 9% maybe. So I think they increased Invigorating, but they lowered Refreshing Invasion. But actually not a bad piece. Uh, too bad it's actually more Constitution than Focus, but still, good piece, good piece. Holy crap, with the legendaries! What's going on? Uh, Intelligence, Dexterity, Refreshing Ward, Blight Resistance, and Angry Earth Ward. Yeah, no, no. I might, I'm probably going to keep it, but probably not going to use it. We never know, once metas shift, it might become proper somewhere. Uh, gloss, uh, gloves of the Scholar, Intelligence, Enfeebling, Skewer, and Refreshing. Okay, interesting. Green, snow, green. Yeah, legendaries are real! Holy crap! Dexterity, Constitution, Enfeebling, Maelstrom. Target set with Maelstrom. No reprieve are weakened during their attack damage. Empowering Breaker and Angry Earth Ward. And eh, not really. Dexterity Constitution with a, a strength, strength perk. Not really good. Uh, we got Constitution, Strength, Elemental Version, and Luck. No. Greens, no. Blues, no. Greens, no. No, more greens. Uh, Dexterity Focus with Fortifying Sacred Ground of Freedom. Eh, dexterity focus, come on. Don't, don't be like that. Blue, blue, blue. Ooh. Strength, dexterity, freedom, resilience, empowering breaker. When your attacks are blocked, gain a stack of empower, increasing damage by 3.8. If it was strength constitution, again, a really good piece. Freedom, resilience, and empower breaker. If you go as a, as a heavy towards, like, trying to take out the tanks, might actually be a good piece, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm real. It's the dexterity. Like, holy crap, why is that dexterity on there? Uh, blue. Good. What do we got here? Come on, show yourself. Focus, refreshing, evasion, and resilience. Not too bad of a piece. Medium gloves, though. I prefer them light. And there we go. That was it for the hands. A lot of legendaries, guys. Let's check out what we can get for the heads. Blue. Green. Oh, focus, critical retribution on crit taken, gain 9.3% increased critical strike chance, and crippling blast shot. So no, not really all that good. Um, another one, constitution dexterity, refreshing with a ferocious blade. Not good. Perks don't match up. Getting a lot of good looking heads though. Constitution strength with figure and plagued, uh, plagued splitting grenades. This is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. The perks actually match up, so it's actually it's too bad. It's 600 gear score, but not a legendary. 
Kinda, kinda sad there. Ooh, here we go. Legendary. Dexterity, constitution, refreshing, resilient, and luck. Oh, the luck should just be off. Ah, uh, Yeah, the luck should just be off. Oh, another one. Strength. Shirting fortification. Critical retribution and sundering shockwave. Holy crap! This is critical. A crit increased chance. Sundering shockwave inflicts rent, reducing target damage. This is a good piece. This is a good piece. Remember in the previous episode we said like we find a really good a really good item? Yeah, this pro this helmet probably would uh would replace that one. That is a really good piece. Holy crap. Okay, I'm hat of the monk. Strength focus? Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, strength intelligence with refreshing and resilience. A constitution focus with resilient and invigorating. Intelligence, Dexterity, Freedom, Critical Retribution. Constitution, Dexterity, Physical Aversion, Resilience. Eh. Dexterity with Invigorating and Penetrating Rapid Shot. But uh, Rapid Shot is bow, and bow you probably want to go at least medium, but most likely you want to go in a light build. So, in a, in, yeah, heavy, heavy just doesn't do it. Uh, some blues. Some blues. Trickster, Intelligence, Dexterity, again on a heavy, Freedom, and Shuriken, Fortification. Yeah, no. Perks were good, but it's a uh, heavy. Green one, blue one. Intelligence, Focus, Freedom, with Mending, Protection. Played Helm of the Mage. And sadly that the Intelligence is on there, or it would be a piece you could use. Uh, strength with Figure and Refreshing Evasion. Actually not too bad, but yeah, we saw already a way better hat. Focus with dexterity. Don't we really even want to look at the perks? Uh, green one. A fighter strength dexterity. Don't want to look at the perks. <laughs> the monk legendary strength focus. Shirting fortification, vigor, and resilience. Like, why is that strength on there? If that was stamina, it would be a really good piece again. Shirking fortification and resilience and vigor. Like all good PvP PvP perks. Like, why is the strength on there? It's just so sad. Make, it almost makes me cry. So focus constitution with vigor, resilience, and lost ward. So we get we get resilient PvP perk with vigor, burn, bleed, and poison. Might actually not be not too bad for PvE. Uh, but then yeah, the resilience. There are no critical hits in PvE, so it doesn't work for PvE. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make you want to cry, though. Uh, come on, show yourself. Intelligence with resilience and luck? No. Blue? No. And last one. Uh, barbarian? Strength constitution, efficient burnouts, and refreshing wards. Fire damage? Yeah, no. Okay, let's go for the chests. And the first one is already a legendary. Heavy, dexterity, refreshing, evasion, indestructible, and beast ward. Trash. Uh, dexterity constitution, sturdy energy, refreshing, no. Intelligence strength, refreshing evasion, sturdy energy. And blocking a hit. Don't really want to block stuff in light chest gear. You just want to get away so you don't get hit. Blue. Blue. What do we got? Dexterity constitution, unending thaw, luck. Luck on no. Strength constitution with freedom, enfeebling, poison shot, and resilient. So we get a, a wrong perk again. Like freedom, resilient, really good. Uh, strength constitution, really, really good. Wrong perk on it. Too bad. Blues, blues. Still playing. Blues. Blues. Blue. Come on, stop with the blues. <laughs> I'm getting blues all of a second. Uh, intelligent Constitution, Corrupted Ward, Invigorating. Ooh. Strength, Dexterity, Freedom, Accelerated, Defiant Stance, and Refreshing Evasion. No, 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 no. no. Dexterity, Refreshing Ward, and Resilience. Constitution Focus on a Heavy with Sturdy Energy and Mending Executes. No. Strength, Resilience, Empowering, Leaping Strike with Medium. That might actually, that might actually work. That might actually work. 
Uh, blue? 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 Come on! Focus dexterity, not even gonna look at the perks. Blue? Green? Oh, I skipped over one. Uh, constitution strength, resilient, exhausting net shots. Might not be too bad. And last one, letter code of a cleric. Focus constitution, sturdy energy. Why would I block it with a life staff? Blight resist and luck. So yeah, no. And I'm gonna quickly move so I don't get kicked from the game. 30 more caches and this is the most amount of umbral shards I've ever had. But you do have to think, one item from 600 to 625 takes 9,800 9, uh, or 900 and a bit. So this is only like four pieces that I can actually like upgrade. Like this is four pieces. That's, that's weird, right? Uh, let's open the 30 pants. Let's see what we get. Blue. The ranger pants. Dexterity, refreshing, evasion, and luck. Uh, heavy pants with freedom and accelerated lights and brace. We want lights and brace on... Um, on nothing anymore because it's it's just not as good as it previously was there are some healing perks that got changes though um blue 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 and then a green a strength constitution physical aversion resilient not too bad but not really like to write home about as they say focus constitution with vigor and fortifying shield rush no uh, intelligence, indestructible, no. Uh, blue, blue, green. Uh, constitution, dexterity, medium, with shuriken energy and refreshing and freedom. If a hit is avoided by dodging while in light, equip load, gain 28 stamina. So if you go without a medium chest piece and go for the medium pants, this might actually work in a light setup. This might be... This pants actually works in the light setup. So the perks actually match. And you got constitution and dexterity. So that matches as well. Uh, pretty interesting pants. Focus intelligence. Finger corrupted resistance. No. Blue. You have focus constitution resilient and beast wards. No. Freedom ancient ward. Dexterity. X. Uh, no. Blue. Scholar, Intelligence, Elemental Aversion, and Healing Tomb. Okay. Not really wow. But... Alright. Here we go. Intelligence, Constitution, Refreshing Evasion, Resilient, and Invigorating. And a heavy leg wear. So, this might actually work if you want to go, like, heavy gear flamethrower for OPR fun. This might actually work. Refreshing, Resilient is good. Invigorating is good. Yeah, this, this might actually work. It's an interesting piece. Uh, Dexterity Intelligence with Refreshing and Bleeding Sweep. Focus Constitution, Shirking Fortifications, and Refreshing Invasion. It's actually not too bad of a piece. Shirking Fortification is kind of bis right now for PvP. Uh, refreshing Invasion is... Uh, it, it, it's got a, it got, a, got a rework, so it's lower now than it was before. But still not bad, I guess you would say. Uh, Constitution Focus with Nullifying, Oblivion, and Resilient. I actually have this pants on me right now. That I want to actually, like... Um, but I got it in a light uh, loadout, and a light uh, leg wear. Uh, that I want to make it towards uh, 625. Um, to actually uh, go for a PvP build. So pretty interesting. And then the last one. A green one. Yeah, look at that. We've got <laughs> we've got six, 60,000 umbral shards from that. Really, really nice. So overall, let's uh, yeah, I'm gonna quickly go through all the armor, delete what I don't want, and uh, I'll bring you guys back to check out what I actually find interesting. Well, what I what what the end result is gonna be, right? And as you can see from the entire list, there's not a lot that I actually like maintained but i got a couple good pieces so i'm really really happy about that it was definitely worth it to keep it uh, we i've never expected to get so many legendaries but there were a lot of legendaries that were just just not good but yeah we got a lot of shards this this is like 
really really good for me but i'm gonna wrap up this episode here like i said i'm gonna try to make it a less lengthy one than the previous one so if you want to see more of my let's play here in new world or any other game i might play on my channel just hit that subscribe button guys it would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye